Alright, so many of us lovers and players of Minecraft, us Minecrafters, shall I say, uh, have come across a, a problem. You could call it a problem. Some might call it a problem, some might call it an opportunity. Call it what you will, that's not the point. And that is what to do with this old game. And it is an old game, it's going on 10 years old. For some people, the entire idea of the game has gone stale and people aren't playing it anymore. And this has been happening for some time. People, there's been a wane. People have been saying Minecraft is dead, and the sales didn't really reflect that for the longest time because mine, the older Minecrafters, the, while they were leaving the game and not playing the game, it was still selling among the younger crowd, that being children ages 8 to 15. But even they now have been losing interest in the game and playing other games like Fortnite, which is really the new thing, I guess you can say. Kids love Fortnite, they're not loving Minecraft anymore. And now uh, Mojang and Microsoft are starting to re release sales that reflect that wane in interest. The sales have taken a dip uh, for the first time for all season long, really, since the fall. Um, they, it's been taking a dip for the first time since the game was released in 2009. And, well, really, since it was publicly released. Before then, it was more of a beta release. But, uh... Or, uh, you know, earlier versions, they were, it wasn't really for sale, like the way it is now. And that is because the game has grown stale. The novelty of it has worn off. If you don't believe me, just look not even at the numbers, but look at other YouTubers and Minecrafters. Uh, people have been shying away from the game and because... There's really not much to do with it anymore. Discovering new things, especially survival mode. Survival mode has taken the biggest hit. People still play the game, often play it by creating mods or downloading mods or downloading new maps and things that other uh, super minecrafters have created to keep the game interesting. And each time, that novelty is real short, you know? You create an awesome parkour map and that's good for what maybe a week or something. It depends on how long you play it. And it's really lost its staying power. It's lost its durability. Minecraft is a very durable game, or at least traditionally has been. But the novelty is wearing thin, and people, to make it interesting, are creating more novelty. And I'm not a big fan of novelty. I'm not a big fan of short-term gameplay. That's why I don't play first-person shooter games or other objective games that require you to play the same levels over and over and over again to do something slightly different so that you can progress to the next level. My friends will tell you I'm a huge stickler of that type of gameplay. I like huge, big sandbox games where I can create things and expand and do whatever I want. I like very loose parameters. I like no limits. I'm a free man. And I like to play games free, uh, not money-wise. I don't mind paying for a good game. But uh, so how do we make Minecraft fresh again? How do we make things interesting? And that's why I've created the Minecraft Imperial Challenge. It's not a map. It's not a mod. It's not a new snapshot of anything. It's it's not something that loses its novelty after a week. In fact, to create to complete the Minecraft Imperial Challenge, it requires one year. Uh, sooner and quicker if you spend more time playing it. But me, I work two jobs, I go to school, and I'm going on a third job, and my free time is limited. I'm thinking a year is fair for me. I tried to create an empire before in Minecraft, um, more or less, before I really knew what I was doing and decided what I was doing. I just would build and build and build these new settlements and connect them. And doing that over the course of seven years gave me the idea of creating the Minecraft Imperial Challenge, except it's only one year. You have one year to do it. And it requires playing in survival mode, which is something very few people, except those that are new to the game, do anymore, simply because discovering mine shafts and discovering villages and even the 1.13 updates like sunken ships and ocean monuments and whatnot, ruins, that, that's grown stale. You find one and then you find another one and then you find another one, you find some buried treasure and then you're done. The novelty's worn off. You move on to the next thing. Or Fortnite. Big mistake, by the way. Big mistake. So, we have the Minecraft Imperial Challenge. One year to complete. Has to be survival. You cannot open the land. You cannot change the creative. You cannot use a single cheat because in doing so, it removes the challenge. It reduces the, the hard parts of it. And the hard parts of it are what makes it 
fun. The difficulties are what makes it exciting. And in doing so, it's a building challenge. It's a building objective. You have to build, you have to explore, you have to build, you have to render materials, you have to mine, and then you have to build. And you have to build an empire, essentially, of 41 plus settlements. How did I get this idea, you might ask? And it's playing other games like Sid Meier's Civilization series, of which Civilization 2 is the best, by the way. Uh, in the previous, the later games that came after that, they had to sacrifice a lot of neat features of the second game to make them more, whatever. That's neither here nor there. That's a discussion for another day. Never mind. Sid Meier's Civilization games, the Age of Empires video games, uh, role-playing games such as World of Warcraft, and other ones I played in the past, such as like Guild Wars and Ebony that are long gone, uh, really gave me this idea that you can build something beyond the parameters of the game. The game, you can use the game mechanics to create something new that while the game won't recognize, you will recognize as well as your peers here on YouTube and in Minecraft who see what you've done as something substantial. In this case, an empire or a kingdom, whatever you want to call it. I'm calling it the Imperial Channels, the Empire Channels, because I'm building an empire. 41 settlements, at least, a minimum. To complete it, you have to have 41 including a capital city. Now, I have it written down there that the capital city, city is part of the 20 plus settlements built, but that's not the case. The capital city is something separate. That's typically the first civilization you build, the first settlement. That's you build your starter house, your survival house, where you can mine and gather materials from and sleep there to save, save from mobs, and then just build on from there until it's a city or metropolis of 100 plus builds. Something huge, something beautiful, you got a year to do it. On top of that, you have to build 20 other settlements. So that's 21 total, capital city, 20 other settlements, including some towns and cities as you see there. A village is 15 minimum builds. If you discover a village that only has nine buildings, you have to build the other six to make it qualify as a village, etc. And then, and then you can see the, the parameters for towns, city, and metropolis there as well. So you have to build 20 plus settlements, 21 minimum, including the capital city. Yeah, on top of that, you have to find, you have to discover 20 other villages. And again, build on to them until they make that 15 minimum requirement. A lot of them you'll find are already at least 15, but that's not always the case. Now, what makes it an empire? What makes it not just a loose collection of associated settlements? You know, the villagers aren't going to recognize themselves as citizens of an empire or any other man-made, person-made, I should say. 21st century, get woke, hashtag woke. Person-made settlements. They're not going to recognize that. The game's not going to recognize it. It's what recognizes it is your peers. And we're not going to recognize it unless, as an empire, unless you connect them via system of overworld railways. Uh, this is... And again, this is another requirement that's another challenge that's going to take a while to build and to connect these 41 settlements versus railways on the overworld. You can't take shortcuts through the nether. We all like to do that. It makes gameplay and travel much quicker. But in making it quicker, it removes the challenge, doesn't it? And what's the point of challenge if you are making it easy on yourself? This isn't about making the game easier. It's about making the game challenging. And in doing so, exciting. Not everyone's excited by a challenge, but I am, and I know there's enough of you out there to really make a thing of this. Besides connecting the villages uh, and cities, they also have to include batteries and depots, which uh, batteries are buildings with doors. It's basically just a building full of doors to trick the game mechanics into thinking the village is bigger than it is, and thus increasing your villager population. Each settlement has to have villagers. It needs to be populated by NPC villagers, because otherwise it's just a bunch of stuff you built. It's not a villager. Or it's not a village. <laughs> it's not a village without the villagers. Nor is it a city or town. And you also have to create in the nether and the end. Now, I've never tried to build a village in the end. I don't... I'm not certain that villagers can go through the end portal. So if I'm wrong about that, don't, you know, spam hate mail in the comments. Just politely tell me that's not something you can do or I can figure out the hard way when I get to that. Uh, get to, when, I, when I cross that bridge when I get to it. So yeah, this is my challenge. This is the idea. I'm trying to create something big here. I'm trying to create something new. Trying to invigorate interest into a game that is losing interest. 
So if you love Minecraft, you miss playing Minecraft, but you can't couldn't think of anything to do on it, now you have this to do. You're welcome. Try it out. Leave a comment below telling me any other plans or rules to add to the challenge, what you're doing with your challenge, how would you go about your challenge, etc. What you know, anything similar but exciting that you think is worth mentioning. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Um, also like this video if you like this idea. Also subscribe if you want to see me on my Imperial Challenge. It's not for everybody, I gotta admit. You know, for those who with short attention spans who can't see themselves doing something over the course of a year, okay, that's fine. You know, do something else. Play Fortnite or download mods or maps or anything that's, you know, cheap and exciting. Also, I'll leave a comment below telling me what your what a what my catchphrase should be. I don't know what I'm supposed to say at this point. Uh, I've been Johnny. Thanks for watching my kingdom for an empire. Um, uh, my name's Jeff. I'll see you hosers later. Take it easy.